Hiya! I am Johnny from Green Herb. And I have some exciting news to share with everyone. My subscribers, my viewers, everyone watching this video right now. You probably know this by now anyway. However, me, Johnny from Green Herb Gaming, wants to deliver the news personally. I am so happy to say this. You have no idea how happy I am to be able to say this. Mortal Kombat is coming to Nintendo Switch. I can rip off heads. I can scream, get over here. I can freeze people. I can blow people up. I can cut people up. I can slice people up. I can play Mortal Kombat anywhere, anytime on my Nintendo Switch. Oh man. Last night at the Game Awards, the legendary, the iconic, the one, the only, Mr. Ed Boon from NetherRealm Studios, the co-creator of the Immortal Kombat series, officially announced and revealed to the world the next installment in the Mortal Kombat series, Mortal Kombat 11. And it is coming to a Nintendo Switch. Amanda, welcome back. Welcome back to Green Herb Gaming. Welcome to my latest stream. I am very excited. I am extremely excited um, that Mortal Kombat is coming to a Nintendo Switch. I have talked about this to my buddy for so long. I have wanted this for so long. Uh, not as long as um, wanting Spyro the Dragon to return, but nonetheless, uh, I have wanted Mortal Kombat on Nintendo Switch for so long. I even tweeted, I even tweeted Ed Boon himself saying, is Mortal Kombat ever gonna come to Switch? Please bring Mortal Kombat to Switch. You know, I begged for this. I dreamed for this. I wished for this. And this has become a reality. And this is Mortal Kombat coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh, we don't know very much about Mortal Kombat 11 as of right now. Uh, we saw the reveal trailer. It looks absolutely fantastic. An amazing, brutal, intense, violent fight between Scorpion and Raiden. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the trailer for anybody who hasn't seen the trailer yet. But let me just tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, apart from the trailer, there is not a whole lot of information. Oh yeah, but I should point out the game is coming out uh, April of next year. Um, if you are pre-order, you gain access to a beta, which is available, I believe, in March. And you also, if you pre-order Mortal Kombat 11, you also get Shou Kahn. Because yet, Shou Kahn is returning. You get Shou Kahn as a pre-order a bonus. Man, I am so excited for this. Mortal Kombat was one of the first video games I ever played, second to a Sonic the Hedgehog. So Mortal Kombat is, is, is iconic for me. It's part of my second childhood. I have played that game. Uh, I have played the entire franchise over the years. So, uh, so for, for one, for, to be, for there to be a brand new Mortal Kombat game is extremely exciting, but the fact, the fact, just keep waiting, Dory. Great advice from Dory. Am I reading that correctly? Dory. Just keep waiting for Mortal, Mortal Kombat's coming to town. Mortal Kombat's coming to town. Mortal Kombat's coming to town. He knows what consoles he's releasing on. He's fairly, fairly sure. He's bringing it to Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. Oh, Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. So I'm gonna stop singing. 
Even though I really want to sing because I'm so excited for the fact that Mortal Kombat is coming to Switch. Now. So I have delivered the news to the world that Mortal Kombat is coming to Nintendo Switch. So what I am wins. going to do and now is I'm actually going to start the story all over again. The story of Mortal Kombat 11. Sorry, the, Mortal uh, the story of Mortal Kombat X, that is. And what an amazing story it is. Basically, Ed Boon and NetherRealm Studios decided to reboot the Mortal Kombat franchise after Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Uh, and that's when they released what is essentially called Mortal Kombat. The fans call it Mortal Kombat 9, whereas I, and even Ed Boon, refer to it as Mortal Kombat because it was a reboot. It may have released after Mortal Kombat Armageddon, but it is still technically a reboot. And it's a reboot in every sense of the word. It even includes the story. Like, Raiden literally reboots the world. Raiden literally reboots... He's basically lying on the cold concrete floor. He's looking up at Shaw Khan, about to deliver a final blow to him. He is on his deathbed, quite literally. And he's like, ah, oh, fuck. Well, I better reboot the world. So, uh, basically, <laughs> uh, Raiden, like, sends, like, out this message to past Raiden. Raiden gets really scared. Oh, my God, if I don't do something right now, we're all going to die. Liu Kang, we're all going to die. We're all going to die, Liu Kang. It's not okay. No. It's not okay. And you're going to fucking die, too. I'm going to burn you to fucking death, you motherfucker. Uh, so, basically, yeah, Raiden decides to um, change things. And he feels that those changes are going to benefit the future. To cut a long story short, a lot of things happen in that reboot that wouldn't have happened. Basically, the reboot takes place between the events of the first Mortal Kombat and the third Mortal Kombat, a tournament. Uh, and basically, things happen in this rebooted world that would never have happened in the original three Mortal Kombat tournaments, including the death of Liu Kang and many of his allies, who end up becoming uh, slaves of Quan Chi. From the Nether Realm. And that basically sets the tone for Mortal Kombat 10. Basically, Liu Kang is dead, along with a lot of other allies. Shao Kahn might have been defeated, but you know, the 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 the, the, the scares have been left behind. So that's basically a recap. I have given you a lovely recap there now of Mortal Kombat reboot. Uh, and you already said hi. Hi Amanda, hello again. I've said hi to you twice now. Are you happy now? So that was a reboot. Previously on Mortal Kombat from Green Herb Gaming. Um, so yeah. So I don't need to talk about the story of Mortal Kombat 10 because that's what I'm gonna allow the gameplay to do. So yeah, I just wanna remind, I got a second viewer. So to my second viewer, have you heard the news? And no, it's not about the bird. Bird isn't the word here. The news of today is the fact that Mortal Kombat 11 has been announced officially. We have a reveal trailer and everything is up online. Have a look at it yourself. It's absolutely fantastic. The next Mortal Kombat game is releasing. My phone has a bug. You better call the bug killers. Oh, sorry, I'm just really excited. Uh, your phone has a bug. Elaborate, please. Explain your situation to me, child. Um, so, um, Mortal Kombat 11 has been announced, uh, and for me, the most exciting part about that is the fact that it is coming to a Nintendo Switch. I get to play Mortal Kombat anywhere, anytime. I can say, get over here as I'm taking a shit. I can be sitting on a plane beside me, you know, pulling off fatalities, and there could be an old granny looking at the screen. Oh my god, that's so violent! I cannot tolerate this! Well, you're fucked because you're stuck on the plane, you've got nowhere to go. Deal with it, bitch. Uh, so I can play a Mortal Kombat anytime anywhere now when it comes to a switch again in april I, I forget the exact date but it is april uh, of next year anyway i have delivered the news and i feel like if i talk any further i just talk about any further i'm going to repeat myself over and over again i won't do that i promise you i will not do that even if, like somebody is due to come home anytime soon and she can have a cup of tea she can have a cup of coffee she can do whatever she likes i'm still going to continue this today i love this game me and my cousins play it Oh, I love it. That's why I like Mortal Kombat. It's still alive. It's still alive. You know, I used to play Mortal Kombat with uh, with, with my sister uh, and my brother uh, when we were uh, very young. 
we should have been playing violent games when we were young but we did um so yeah it's just amazing that uh, that a series that has been around for what like 25 plus years uh is still uh irrelevant and it is it is still around and it is as fresh as it's ever been as fresh as as, as the blood that squirts out of Zub Zero's chest when Scorpion reaches in to his chest and pulls out his heart. I don't know where all this excitement is coming from. It's the opposite to my last stream, to be honest. But the only thing that excited me about the Game Awards last night was Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's full of blood. Oh, no, no. This ain't Barney the Dinosaur. This ain't Fortnite, you know. This ain't Fortnite Season 7, motherfuckers. This is Mortal Kombat, motherfuckers. Uh, this is a violent... This is adult content. And it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, I want to see somebody call Nintendo Switch a, casu a casual child's console next year when, uh, when we already have Diablo and Dark Souls on it. The Outlast franchise on it. <laughs> um, Wolfenstein is on it. Doom is on it. Next year we're getting a brand new Doom and a Wolfenstein game and Mortal Kombat. But no, Nintendo Switch is only for the kiddies. Mm, some pretty fucked up kiddies out there if they're playing that kind of content, uh, motherfuckers. Okay, so let's do it. One player story. I'm going to be quiet for the cutscenes, okay? So I haven't disappeared. I haven't been killed by the Illuminati. Uh, so, yeah. So if you hear me, if you, don't, if you don't hear me, I ain't dead. I'm just letting the cutscenes play. So I'll do a new game. And again, I gave you your recap. So I'm not going to give you any more recaps. You know the story. One of the cool things about Mortal Kombat 11 is you get to see things that would never happen in... The Aurea Mortal Kombat games because it has been rebooted. We live in a rebooted world. Welcome to the rebooted world of Mortal Kombat. Everything. I'm not gonna talk. Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earthrealm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. <coughs> Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. You bold by. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed turned into evil undead warriors. Should not get my hand broken. <laughs> Should not get odds, my hand <laughs> stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. Rest in peace, motherfucker. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. This should be called Mortal Kombat, Shinnok. Mortal Kombat, the revenge of Shinnok. Because somebody ate his hamburger. Shut up! I think off is very interesting. He is... He's an Elder God. He's a fallen Elder God. He's basically the Lucifer of the Mortal Kombat series. So he is quite important. What's this? You better run, motherfucker. I told you run. You wouldn't run. Shit just got really insert comment here. So chapter one is a Johnny Cage named after me, of course, because 
Destination, no. dead ahead. Johnny's the greatest name in the world. down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade All right, you have the wrong end of coordinates. Bro. Far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. The world has changed. Oh, it certainly the has changed. We do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's Temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not going to let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Nether Realm. Oh yeah. I am actually so excited right now, it's like funny. We're not gonna be able to play this on the go. And not just like not just the core of this game. Mortal Kombat X. Oh but the brand new race game. Oh my god. Oh my god! They killed random black dude! You bastard! Please skip to blood. I ain't skipping no cutscene, Amanda. I ain't cutting that cutscene. I ain't skipping that cutscene. I got some interactive cutscenes coming up here, so. I got Ooh! I'm not gonna get over here. I ain't your bitch. Yeah, I am very good right now. It's pretty cool. You know when Warner Bros. became the uh, publishers of the Mortal Kombat uh, franchise? It's amazing how they incorporated what they've done with the Mortal Kombat movies into the games. Because this rivalry here, Johnny Cage and Scorpion, that rivalry started in the movies. Uh-oh. I was talking to the cutscene. No problem. Oh, no, you are. And look what we have here. That looks like Sub-Zero, but he's not very friendly. But as I told you, as I told you, as I told you, the world of Mortal Kombat has been rebooted, so there's a lot of shit going on in this rebooted world that would not have happened in the original Mortal Kombat games, including my ally, Sub-Zero, trying to kill me because he died. That's what happened. He is a, he is a slave of Guan Shi. He died in the Mortal Kombat reboot, or Mortal Kombat 9, however you want to call it. So he died. As a result of Raiden, fucking things up Raiden, come on, you got it all wrong. You thought you were changing things for the good, but you were actually changing things for- I pressed the wrong button. Oh Jesus Christ, he's both hot and cold, oh my god. So yeah, Sub-Zero is dead as a result of Raiden getting things I press triangle, you motherfucker. This will make a difference anyway. I thought you'd get some of the accomplishment for getting all the cutscenes correct, but... Or maybe so Sonya Blade dies, maybe. Did I kill Sonya? Did I kill Sonya by not pressing triangle? I mean, come on, Netherrealm. Jesus Christ. Back for more. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Yeah, Scorpion. Getting a bit ahead of yourself. Have some of that, Scorpion! So this rivalry, as I said, it's, it originated. This rivalry originated in the Mortal Kombat movie. What was that? A mango? Mango, 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 mango. I'm gone crazy. I'm absolutely gone crazy. The thought of being able to play a Mortal Kombat on my Switch is just extremely exciting. I'm gonna go into a church. I am, I am gonna walk into a Catholic church. I'm gonna go right up to the front of the church. I'm gonna take up my Switch. I'm gonna turn the volume up full blast. And I'm gonna rip people's heads off. I'm gonna turn the brightness up so loud that the blind person behind me is gonna fucking have her fucking blindness cured and she's gonna see the violence on my Nintendo Switch and you know when there do you know when there's offerings oh I offer this up to the I'm gonna offer up Mortal Kombat on this fucking Switch that's what I'm gonna offer up hey Scorpion I don't like the fact that you're damaging me right now get the hell out of here I thought a lantern two seconds fuck you Scorpion I thought a lantern was a manga a manga or a mango 
No, it's the end of you, Scorpion. You died of the failure of Mortal Kombat 11. And then, I don't know, you're fucking... I don't know, your, your, your son or something came back. But that's your son, I betcha. Well, not your son, but your your next line, fucking next generation Scorpion guy who you see soon enough. Oh, a mango. Oh, it looks like a mango. It's a Chinese lantern. It's a lantern. I said I said that. Sorry. I'm just so distracted by the fact that I'm trying to be funny. You know? it's, des it's actually so desperate how I try to be funny. Nobody loves me. Why won't you love me? Just love me. I can love you back. Gotta get back to the chopper. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm actually I wasn't talking to Amanda by the way, Jesus Christ. Sonia, get oh. out of there! I just in general, Jesus. So uh, Johnny Cage is feeling a bit cold right now because evil Zob Zero is uh, is not happy with him. Thank you for uh, correcting me. No problem. Any time. That was unpleasantly cold. Yes, it was unpleasantly cold. In the last Mortal Kombat game I played on the Nintendo system, it was Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate or Mortal Kombat Ultimate 3 or some Mortal Kombat game anyway on Nintendo DS. And I mean, I'm not bashing DS. I mean, it was great for what it did at the time. But there hasn't been a Mortal Kombat game on a Nintendo system since then. That was 2007. 2007. Holy moly. That's 11 years ago. 11 years ago was the last time we saw Mortal Kombat on a Nintendo system. How crazy is that? And, I mean, to say that the DS and the Switch, uh, you know, different is like saying that Scorpion, you know, likes, he likes fire. Pretty, pretty much an understatement. Oh my, I am so excited. Did I notice something? The opening fucking half of this game is extremely hard. Is that he's been... Sorry, let me respond to you when I kick this guy's ass, okay? Because I mean... Oh snap! Oh snap indeed. Because he's, he's starting to annoy me now and it's not funny. Totally not cool, Zob Zero. Is that his spin on his back, cool dude? Oh my, spine on his back. Is it? Don't say I never did anything for you. Could be his spine on his back. I never took notice of it actually. Yeah, it actually is his spine, Jesus Christ! It actually is, I think. Oh, this is part of his, uh, you're very absorbent. Probably one of my most absorbent uh, viewers I have, to be honest with you. The other guy is a blocking. Whoever the other guy is, or might be a guy. Whoever the other person is, is just like lurking, loving my voice right now. Do you like my voice? Do you like when I talk like this? Mm. <laughs> ah, man, I'm just so excited right now. Really funny. Not cool, Zob Zero. Not cool. No pun intended. I didn't even mean that uh, pun. I'm not actually joking. Zob Zero, come on! That was unpleasantly cold. Yes, it was unpleasantly cold. Come on, man. You sound like... Are you calling me Kermit the Frog? How dare you? I'm only joking. Oh, you sound like Kermit the Frog! Hi guys! Oh, I can't, I, do you want to make me sound like Kermit the Frog now and it won't sound like it? No, I'm trying to sound like Kermit the Frog and it won't work. Damn it. Kermit the Frog? Yes, I am Kermit the Frog. I, we just found out today, guys, that Force of Kermit 11 is actually being released, but apparently being released, it's also coming out on Nintendo Switch. I may have a cold, just by some different. Ha ha ha. So that's, uh, that's Kermit the Frog with a cold, no everyone. So yeah, how about that? Uh, it's a compliment, like, I like Kermit. Cool. So, uh, what do you think of my Kermit impression? Who's the other viewer? I want to know. Actually, don't want to know. I 
don't want to know reverse psychology i don't want to know who you are please don't leave a comment and let me know who you are whoever you are i love you i love you i liked it better when we fought on the same side exactly <coughs> you okay <coughs> Uh, hey, buy our pack of limp slips, you'd be grand. Add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. So Shinnok is waging an, uh, an all-out invasion on our right now. Very good, try and make it deeper though. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give up my, my permanent weapon. Sorry. So we got Raiden and his, 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 his buddy, the, the God of Wind, Fujin, who I have. Bad memories of, he was a boss. He was a boss in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero, which for the light of me, Ed Boon, NetherRealm Studios, he just saw something about that game is extremely expensive to get. In Europe, like the PAL UK version, it's insanely difficult on Pleasure Mod. I don't want it on Nintendo 64 because quite simply it is shit on Nintendo 64. It has no cutscenes. It has no cutscenes. That's not acceptable. Um, but I want it on PlayStation 1. I had it on PlayStation 1 and I loved it. Uh, it was a story of Sub Zero, the background of Sub Zero, who he is, why he is, what he got up to. Uh, it was amazing. And he was a boss, like Fujin was a boss, the god of wind. Uh, yeah, he is Rain, the god of thunder and lightning, protector of Earth Realm, and getting his ass handed to him right now. Well, he's gonna get saved by his buddy Fujin, who's gonna slice him in half like a fucking subway. Raiden, like a fucking foot, a foot long subway becoming a 6 inch. Belong. Boom. No, Fujin. It is too late. It's too late. Oh. Oh. Spaghetti O. We have Quan Chi here. Quan the mighty here. gods of Earthrealm. You be foul of these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friends. So yeah, these are my former allies. We're all... You abandoned them to their deaths. And he did. To, to be honest with you, yes, he did. Worse than death. One you will soon share. The striker. And my lord himself Sindel, shall witness Cabal. So to be honest with you, Raiden did let them down. Raiden thought he was changing the, the, the things for changing the present for the, for, the, for the better. He thought he was going to make a better future. A better future? You killed Liu Kang, the champion of Mortal Kombat, you idiot. Come on. And those sub zeros going around fucking bitter as ice. <laughs> I meant that pun. And here's Jax. Fuck's sake, Sonya's partner. And there's Smoke. All the allies from Jax. previous Mortal Kombat games. And they're all the bad guys now, because Raiden fucked things up in the reboot of the world of Mortal Kombat. And look at this! I forgot his name. Nighthawk. Nightwolf. Nightwolf, okay. Who the fuck is Nighthawk? He's a guy, isn't he? Who the fuck is Nighthawk? Amanda, who's Nighthawk? Do you know who Nighthawk is? So they just slipped out like what the fuck my heart is, they just slipped out. Smoke. Smoke is dead. It's smoking! Jesus Christ, I'm actually beyond excited like I've actually never been as excited about a game. Mortal Kombat 11 is happening and it is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh my god, like, I just, I still can't believe it, like. This is your last mission, son. Get your hands off my bitch. Bitch. What happens real to Jax regular names like friend. Daredevil? Why not? Johnny Cage. Killing you will be a pleasure. They're just simple names like Spider Man, Superman. Gotcha. Ow! Holy hell. And actually, you know what, the, the, the campaign is actually quite difficult, compared to traditional towers. It's crazy. Oh, 
What's that branch? This was in the opening cutscene to... Oh, not the... Uh, uh, yeah, the reveal trailer from Mortal Kombat 11. I want to hit you with a branch. Where's the branch? Damn it, Jax. Let me hit you with the branch. Why'd you block? What did you have to do that? Look what you made me do now, Jax. Look what you made me do, Jax! I didn't want to have to do this. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. No one can do what spider does. What about Spider-Pig? Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. Because whatever Spider-Pig can. What about Spider-Pig? Day 1 DLC for Mortal Kombat 11. Spider-Pig. I have a theory now that I want to share on Mortal Kombat 11. I actually shared this theory a long time ago actually. But my theory is Raiden is going to be the main bad guy in Mortal Kombat 11. Now I know they make you think like it's Shao Kahn because he's a pre-order. But if it's a pre-order DLC, I can't see you. Can I pause this for a okay. I can't see the main villain being a pre-order bonus. I think Raiden is the main villain. And you'll see that. You will see that uh, when I get to the end of this story. It won't be in this stream. It will be in another stream. But when I get to the end of the stream, you'll see what I mean. Spider pig. Spider pig can do whatever a spider pig does. He sure can. I'm not going to skip that. Hey, how do I go back? Oh, I'm scared. Well, okay, cool. Nice seeing them again. Not really. Sonia. Not like that. That's not him. That's not him. He's, his soul is gone. Well, it, it is not his soul is gone. He's just, it's just... He's a bad guy now. Sonia, he's a bad guy. He ain't your jacks no more. Raiden got him killed. That's the honest. elevator? Yes. I can't ride fast, so please elevator. be patient. Ah, no problem. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. Who's watching this video right now, apart from Amanda? Come on. Could Don't they be shy. The hell up? Yeah, they need to hurry up. And they need to hurry up right now. Because shit is going down right now. What did you call my mother? My mother was a saint. I think I said the exact same joke going last up. time I was scared. Fall back I'm terrible. Now. Go on. Get out of here, Sonya. You guys stay here. Close the door. I always think it's cool to see uh, the real life military uh, involved in the Mortal Kombat game, you know, alongside, you know, the Mortal Kombat Warriors. It's a nice little thing. You don't normally see that in the Mortal Kombat game, you know? I feel like Call of Duty meets Mortal Kombat. It's pretty interesting, to be honest. This guy, look at this Uncle Fester wannabe, huh? That part always. Oh, that's creepy as fuck, this part. Get out of here, Raiden. Get out the last time we didn't get out of here after my warning. And his head chopped off. Yes, thank you, Raiden. Thank you for heeding my warning. But you know what? It's too late now, because. The you man of the hour. Alright. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. <laughs> Does Cabal, former ally, former friend of Raiden, because you allowed him to die, Raiden, we coming for you. Everybody clap. <laughs> Electron clap. No, oh, skeleton clap, sorry. Ouch! Ooh. Ooh. Quan Chi also made his debut in Mortal Kombat Mythology's Dub Zero, and he was creepy, creepy, creepy motherfucker.
He's all basically he's always being Shinnok's bitch. Shinnok's bitch in Mortal Kombat Mythology is up zero. He's Crunchy's bitch in Mortal Kombat 4. And he's still Crunchy's bitch. In the re even in the oh, rebooted world, the one thing that hasn't changed. Oh, I will. The in one thing that hasn't Earth changed is the fact that Quan Chi is still ah, Shinnok's yeah. bitch. So he's hoping to paint the, the life force of um, the Earth Realm. Oh, my mum screaming at my dad. That's not cool. <laughs> that ain't cool. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch, insignificant speck of feculent scum. How insult dare you? of the century, right there. I have to admit, like, that is one hell of an insult. So it looks like Shinnok's plans has been interrupted. Ready as ever. Someone has an angry shit. <laughs> I think Shinnok has an anger issue. I mean, it's only a medal, Shinnok. No. I can buy you a new one. Look at that brave Johnny Cage shielding Sonya Blade. I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. Boom! Oh, uppercut! Shinyaki, you're going down, Shinyaki. Oh, I hope um, Shang Tsung comes back in Mortal Kombat 11. And I hope that... Can I just say one thing? We have only seen old Shang Tsung, if I am not mistaken. If I am not a mistaken, uh, correct me if I am a mistaken, but we've only seen old, like old man Quan, or old man Song, basically. We've only seen old Shang Song in the original Mortal Kombat game. He was young in Mortal Kombat 2. He, I don't even think he was in Mortal Kombat 3. He was not in Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, he was young again in um, Deadly Alliance. I don't know where he was in Deception. Everyone was in Armageddon, and he was young in that as well. Uh, and he was, well, he was old, technically he was old in the reboot, but that was a retelling of, uh, of, of Mortal Kombat 1, of course, in a completely altered dimension, or not altered dimension, but a rebooted world. Shinak ate my hamburger. He ate your hamburger, did he? Well, I'm going to kick his ass right now, and I'm going to get you back your hamburger. Uh, so it would be very interesting to see an old Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11. I would like to see that. Like, I don't care how it works, just make it work. <laughs> just make it work, Ed. I know you can do it, Ed. You, you brought me Mortal Kombat and Switch, you can do anything, Ed. You can do anything. The world is your oyster, Ed. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night, uh, Shinnok. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm just so happy right now. I think once I, uh, once I complete the opening, once I complete chapter one, Johnny Cage, I'm going to end the stream here because it's not so much a gameplay video, it's more as a news video. Uh, and what is the news, uh, you may ask? Well, if the title of the video didn't give it away, and if the invention of the internet didn't give it away, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 has been announced, and the most exciting part about it is that it's coming to a Nintendo Switch. So I get to rip off heads, slice people up, cut people in half, blow people's heads off, and commit some violent fatalities. Anywhere, anytime on my Nintendo Switch. It was a barbecue, a bacon lover. You're making me hungry now, on barbecue. Damn it, Shinnok. Stand still from McDonald's. Ah, uh, you are making me hungry now. Stop the lights. Shinnok, you better stay still so I can kick your bony ass. Yeah, that'll hurt. 
What about that? Oh, Sweet Chin Music. Sweet Chin Music from Johnny Cage. You really are a fallen elder god. Good one, Johnny. <coughs> Good one. So a couple of more cutscenes here and then we'll end the stream. Johnny Cage, the amulet! For now, like, you know, there'll be more Mortal Kombat X gameplay. Because I want to recap the story myself to be quite honest with you. To hype myself up for Mortal Kombat 11, a coming to a Nintendo Switch in April of this year. So not, not very far to go, really. Just a couple of months when you think about it. And Shinnok has been returned to his amulet. Enjoy the new digs, Grant. It'll be sold on eBay for like 10 euro. That, that's why he came back. Spoiler alert, he comes back. Yeah, that, so that's how he came back. That's what they won't tell you. <clears throat> it was put up on Amazon. Did we? Shinnok's amulet was yeah. put up on Amazon. Some motherfucker bought we it. Unleash Shinnok again. Uh, Remain and make here. people. The hungry. chamber's properties will heal it's an interesting one. in short order. Special ability. Make Quan your Chi opponent and the others, to death. They're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. The Quan Chi Shinnok's amulet. amulet. And within it. Old Fishface himself. Fishface. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot just. Can I just say? Can I just say, T Shark? Nobody who isn't Irish and who doesn't watch comedy is going to understand what the hell I just said there. But I'm just going to pause this because uh, the next cutscene or cutscenes here is absolutely fantastic because it introduces you to the next generation of Mortal Kombat. Not in terms of the gaming industry, the actual Mortal Kombat franchise in the real world, but the actual Mortal Kombat a universe, the world within the game. It is the next generation. You see the next generation of Mortal Kombat combatants, the next generation of uh, you know the, the realms, the next generation of who threatens those realms, just the next generation of Mortal Kombat in every a sense of the word. Uh, you get to see that uh, very no soon. Come they on. might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. And then after that, it's the end of the stream. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. She called me Johnny. It's the only line I know off the heart. Don't think I'm obsessed. Twenty. Told me later that Twenty years later. Boom. Let me just. Let me just explain what it means. That basically means that if you go, if you think of what just happened there with Shinnok is basically the events of Mortal Kombat 4, but it's in the a rebooted world. So things happen that wouldn't have happened in the original Mortal Kombat 4. But that's where we are in the timeline. You're 20 years later. This is way ahead of where Deception would have been. Um, Deadly Lines would have been, Armageddon would have been. This is so far into the future, 20 years. So we see the next generation. Watch very closely because you will see the next generation of Scorpions, Clan. You will see the next generation of um, the... Uh, the um, uh, what are they called? Special Forces. You will see. You literally see Jax's son. You see Johnny Cage and... And... Sonya Blade's um, daughter, you get to see um, you get to see a relative of Kong Lo. So these are all the next generation of the original Mortal Kombat uh, combatants at the cutscene that I'm speaking. I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Have a good look. Bred as warriors look. for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. Is Cassie Cage? How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? The or daughter did it skip of Johnny generation? Cage. Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a Halo in Darfur, or Iran, or Kurdistan. Yeah, did, to be honest with you. Did we, Jackie? Nope, Jackie? we didn't. Shall the daughter we of Jack. Send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Jin Takeda is the and relative of stuff that blew your special Takeda forces mind. Fuck is the next generation of You're all here clan. because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. <laughs> Beyonce Halo. Now. As I'm sure you're unaware, <laughs> judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. 
And I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are gonna retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Next Shaolin generation. Shirai Ryu SF, together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in, but don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The Rebels win, those Accords will be history. And we are on chapter two, so once we go to a fight battle, pause it in the stream to make sure that it's broken. So we're going to see a pre we're going to see a preview of the next stream of what we come back. A ten. Twenty. Million. Emperor. What's the no, expression? this is the old world. It's not worth the dirt on my shoe. Kotal Khan has always bargained with... So there's a civil war right now in Outworld, I'm not going to say anymore. There's a civil war in Outworld, which is just crazy to see, really. It's very tenor. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. And that's the new I'm emperor of Outworld right there. My intel. Kotal Khan. That's Kano right there. The long Outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? Hello, baby. You Did know you miss me? Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. So the Emperor wants to know the location of Melina, 50. the rebel, rebel leader. I must attack her immediately. He wants end to kill her. Conflict. He wants to end As you the say, rebellion. It drains us. Little does Kotal right. Khan know, do Kano is actually deal? working for both. Because he'll do anything for money. What is it, Devora? That scumbag. The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. This one will clear it. It's a deliberate blockage. Make way for Kotal Khan. And Melina Move. and her allies. So that we have Dark rain. Are in position. We await your order. It is Tanya given, dearest Melina. Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an emperor. False emperor. Requires power. Power you have, Melina, and won't use. See? I told you. She bought it on Amazon. Some idiot. Some idiot. Some one of the elder gods decided, you know what would be a good idea? What if we sell it on Amazon? We make a load of money. We'd be fucking loaded. Uh little they didn't know that Melina saw it on Amazon and she picked it up. Oh my god. To use it, Ray. Cat I use her. I name. need uh. more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. Now! Do it! Army of Belancas, the Tarkatan, what are they called? Cookie Amulet, yeah, there's a cookie inside it. Cookie calls it enough. Or Max, one of Shang Tsung's creation. There's Aaron Black, he's an actual, he's actually an Oxford element. There's a, well, one of uh, Belancas' men. That's gonna hurt in the morning. If you, if you, if you reach morning, that is. So there's gonna be an interactive old cutscene here, you know, button, button bashing. A bit of button bashing, a bit of button bashing. Oh, they're unbelievably fugly. You said a mouthful. Try to attack me. I am the Emperor of Outworld. It's amazing 
the difference, okay? Maybe the difference between the Kotla Khan and Shaw Khan. A Kano wouldn't e a Kano wouldn't have even been able to speak to Shaw Khan in the negative way without having his throat ripped out. Of his head ripped off his shoulder. The fact that Kano can even like pull a punch to Kotla Khan, you know, is just absolutely insane. Again compared to like Shaw Khan. Shou Kahn is the only emperor of Outworld. Nobody can ever take Shou Kahn's place. Like, it's just... It's not gonna happen. And I have an interesting theory, again, oh, for Mortal Kombat 11. I think that Raiden, basically... I'm gonna spoil a little bit of the ending of this game. So look, whatever, it's been released since 2015, so come on, bear with me. I think Raiden became the new emperor of Outworld. Uh, and he's after fucking things up, he's after invading... Um, neighboring realms and just became an absolute asshole. I don't think Shokan is back to say, okay, this is my realm. What the fuck are you doing with my realm? Get out of my throne. Melina's given me twice that to take you out. You ain't gonna take me out. So it's automatically saved. So we can go to the main menu. We can go to the main menu. We can go to the main menu. Uh, Sun God would not be happy. No, the Sun God would not be happy. Kotal Khan. Uh, well, I think Kotal Khan is just... He's pathetic. I think he's pathetic. I really do think he's an absolutely pathetic leader of Outworld. He really is. There's only one ruler of Outworld, and that is Shao Khan. He's no eyes. No, he has no eyes now. He can't see nothing. He can't see his own bullshit. So that's the end. That's the end of this uh, stream. Uh, a bit of gaming news, a bit of gameplay, all mixed together. So uh, just to recap... A recap of the amazing... Did you hear? Did you hear the news? Did you hear the news? Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. April of next year. Last night at the Game Awards, Ed Boon, and it was so funny how he did it. He came out to... He came out to introduce the nominees. Nominees. The nominations. What the hell? Yeah, nominees. What the fuck? Here are the nominees. Yeah, the nominees for best fighting game. And he was meant to show a video of the nominees, but guess what he showed instead? He showed the, the reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 11. And then shortly after on Twitter, it was confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. That Mortal Kombat 11 is coming to Nintendo Switch. And what that means for me, like, here's the thing about Nintendo Switch. Here's why I like my Nintendo Switch. I can play my Nintendo Switch in front of my TV, in my living room, in my home, like I'm doing right now with Mortal Kombat X on my PS4. I can do that on Switch with Mortal Kombat 11. But if I need to go somewhere, if I want to go somewhere, if I want to take a shit, then I can play Mortal Kombat 11 on the toilet bowl. If I want to go on a train, I need to go somewhere, then I can take out my Switch on the train and perform fatalities in Mortal Kombat 11. I can play Mortal Kombat 11 anywhere. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, it doesn't matter where I'm going, Mortal Kombat 11 will be with me at all times. That is absolutely fantastic. This is my, yeah, we get it, I know, yeah. <laughs> we get it. My God, Johnny, shut the fuck up, will you? Jesus Christ. My God. Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. Mortal Kombat's coming to Switch. We fucking get it. That's what you want to see, isn't it? I understand. It's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to go watch uh, some more of your... Oh, thank you. Oh, man. I really appreciate that, Amanda. I appreciate that. Thank you. So that's, that's, the, um, that's, the, <laughs> that's the end of the stream. Uh, so I really want to thank, uh, I want to thank you Amanda really for watching this. You, 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 you've, stuck, you've stuck by me since 50, for, 50, 50, uh, for 54 minutes. I really appreciate that. Really, you've no idea. No, ser seriously, I know I've been like all excited and happy and joking me, but <clears throat> I'm going to get serious now and I'm going to say Amanda uh, how much I really appreciate that because you've taken 55 minutes of your time to watch and listen to me and that is really appreciated so thank you so much Amanda that is support is much appreciated so thank you Amanda for watching uh, anybody watching this right now subscribe to Amanda Mason uh, support her channel uh, please and a big shout out to Pro Chronics Vlogs subscribe to Pro Chronics Vlogs 
A big shout out and subscribe as well to L4 Electricity Kid, Epic Kid 23, DLA, Mindtex Gaming, Black Knight the Gamer, <coughs> Hamino Games, and to all of my other lovely subscribers. Um, wait, no, I just got a second viewer because I always have this thing that where I leave the stream and somebody just literally trying to say hello and I'm gone. So I'm going to give that second viewer the opportunity to say hello to Mr. Green Hub Gaming before I end the stream. Uh, just so I <coughs> acknowledge your existence so but then again you could be a locker you could be a stalker you could be a hater uh i don't know who you are but you have an opportunity now to say hello he's gone he or she is gone i don't do anything uh i'm homeschooled uh you're better off you're actually better off being homeschooled to be honest with you because it's a crazy world out there and you know education is not going to tell you everything that you need to know in life so you are actually you're actually it's a good thing that you're being uh, that you're being uh, homeschooled to be honest don't let anybody don't let anybody tell you that you're like different or whatever like for being homeschooled uh homeschooled to be honest with you is the only way to be schooled in this world to be quite honest with you uh that second viewer was just a lurker or a hater or whoever not important not important uh but your support is important amanda and i really appreciate that so i'm gonna go now and i will see you soon in the next stream of Green Hub Gaming. Thank you for watching and have a great day or a great morning.